In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Happy Sunday. We have, um, between the ascension of the Lord and the descent of the Holy Spirit, so the ascending of the Lord, the descent of the Holy Spirit, we have one Sunday. Um, It's a funny time because the Lord has been taken from us physically. We're remembering this in in our prayers and in the liturgy. Um, We're remembering that the Lord has ascended into heaven. His physical presence is no longer with us. And as a symbol of that, um, after the gospel of the ascension, we extinguish the paschal candle. His risen presence is no longer with us. We live in these few days uh, sort of a hinterland between um, God the Son and God the Holy Spirit. And we're here deprived of his presence deprived of the presence of the Holy Spirit. And so we read about how the, um, the apostles were locked away in fear. They had no one to cling to. Now the Lord, before he ascended into heaven, he said to his um, disciples, he said, I will make you witnesses. You will be my witnesses throughout the world. You will be my witnesses throughout the world. Now what is a witness? We're here in the um, Blessed Sacrament Chapel at English Martyrs Catholic Church in Strood, welcome, um, where we have these windows which speak to us of martyrdom. You see this window just here, the green palm of martyrdom, the window behind me, the crown of martyrdom, the other windows, the sword of martyrdom. And the word martyr means witness, someone who witnesses. And this is what the Lord meant. This is one of the meanings the Lord gave when he said, you will be my witnesses throughout the world. And we see wherever the gospel is proclaimed, there is the suffering church, there is martyrdom, death, suffering for the name of Jesus. A witness is a very significant thing. Someone has had an experience. They've seen, they've heard, they've experienced something. And then they tell other people. They witness to it. So, for example, if you think about the um, witness in the court, no one else in the court was there. The judge wasn't there. The solicitor wasn't there. The lawyer wasn't there. Who was there? Who experienced the event? The witness. And so the witness stands before the whole of the court and informs the court what happened, what the event was. It's not just, I've seen it, I've heard it, I was there, but I'm going to tell you about it so that you too can hear what I heard. You too can see what I have seen. The witness invites other people into the experience. So that through the witness, other people may know and understand and believe. When the Lord calls us to be witnesses, he is calling us to draw other people into his experience, into the experience of knowing him, seeing him, hearing him, and experiencing him fully. It's worth considering this. Um, You think about Lourdes. Think about Lourdes. Think about Lourdes. St. Bernadette saw our Blessed Lady. Yeah, She was um, gathering kindling that day by the riverside, She opened her eyes and she saw the beautiful lady. That was the beginning of the um, revelations in Lourdes, the beginning of the apparitions in Lourdes. What did everyone else see? Even when great crowds were being drawn to the grotto and um, uh, the police were involved, the local parish was involved, there was a big storm. When all all these hundreds of people were, were descending on the grotto, to see the apparition. What were they seeing? What were they seeing? 
they saw St. Bernadette, a little girl, kneeling down praying. They didn't see Our Lady. They didn't see any miracle. They saw St. Bernadette kneeling down praying. But the way that she was so wrapped in the vision... The way she's prayed in such a devout way and the way she had such fortitude witnessed to the reality of what she herself had seen. She became a bridge to the experience. No one else experienced Our Lady except her, but because of how she witnessed to that in her devotion, in her, in her um, conviction, other people came to be aware of the experience. When the early church was spreading throughout the world, people who'd never heard of Jesus, people who'd never seen Jesus, people perhaps who hadn't even been aware that there was a Jewish nation for there to be a Messiah from, these people heard the experience that the witnesses gave, their testimony. And so beautiful was that witness, so convincing was it, that these people who'd never heard of Jesus, not only heard of him, but believed in him and converted their whole life to him. This is the power of being a witness. As we live between the Son and the Holy Spirit, we've been told that we will be witnesses. Jesus has said this, you will be my witnesses. Let's ask for the great grace to be able to witness truly to the Lord Jesus, to shout his name, to live um, his experience in our whole life so that other people drawn in by what we have seen, drawn in by what we have experienced, may come to know and love the Lord Jesus. Let's ask for this great grace and happy Sunday and may the Holy Spirit descend on us soon. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.